terrifying look inside Golden State Killer's bedroom stocked with sick trophies from his victims' homes as investigator describes one very chilling detail that made the biggest impression. The cold case criminologist who first identified the Golden State Killer suspect Joseph D'Angelo just released a chilling detail about what he saw in the man's bedroom. Paul Holes appeared on the My Favorite Murder podcast this week and shared what gave the biggest impression when he was looking around D'Angelo's bedroom. The criminologist claimed that the killer would turn on the television, only to turn the sound off and place a towel over the screen so he would have this glow, so he could see her. I walk into D'Angelo's room, and he has a computer there, and he's got a towel over the monitor, Holes added, New York Daily News reports. Holes revealed beforehand, that the East Area Rapist was known to bind his female victims and place them in front of TVs. I'm looking at that going, is that just a dust cover? Or is he reminiscing, and, he wants a glow, you know? Holes said. Is he pulling out any of those souvenirs and replicating the glowing environment from back in the 1970s? Jewelry. Cufflinks and necklaces with heart-shaped pendants were trinkets the Golden State Killer liked to take from his victim's home. They were found inside his. D'Angelo, 72, an ex-cop who went on to work in a grocery warehouse for nearly three decades, was arrested last month. He is believed to be responsible for at least 12 murders and more than 50 rapes in California between 1975 and 1986. Now divorced and recently retired, he was quietly living in a single-story home in the Sacramento suburb of Citrus Heights until Tuesday's arrest. Police have now finished combing through the beige-colored house, removing boxes of evidence, guns, cars a motorcycle and a boat, among other items. Holes claimed that D'Angelo was extremely uncooperative while being investigated after his arrest. I watched seven hours worth of the interviews, and I just don't see him talking, Holes said. He's a psychological sadist, he said. His big thing was the fear he was instilling in the victims. D'Angelo was nabbed after police matched DNA from items he discarded with samples found at his many crime scenes. They used the sample from an internet genealogy site submitted by a distant relative to narrow their search to him, according to the Sacramento Bee. Sacramento County Chief Deputy Attorney Steve Grippy told the paper they compared crime scene DNA to online open source profiles until they found their relative. After months of comparisons, cops finally narrowed the DNA down to D'Angelo on Thursday last week and began surveilling him and on Friday got a sample from an item he discarded. They sent the sample to the county crime lab which found overwhelming evidence that after 44 years they had finally got their man.